And we're here near tree line uh, in the Vail Summit Zone. We're probably about uh, 11,500 feet on the east facing aspect. Uh, you'll probably see during this video the wind is drifting a lot of snow. Uh, we're in a sheltered low angle slope right now, but uh, it's a lot of natural activity on easterly slopes by the ridge, so we're keeping our angles low. And uh, we don't really need to do a pit to make a decision. We already decided we're staying off the end of drifting slopes. But we're going to have a look at the snowpack anyway. We set up an extended column test. <laughs> So on three taps, you could uh, see here we have all the new wind drifted snow and it's pretty much all facets underneath. So not a good setup. That's why the danger is considerable right now. Avalanche, human triggered avalanche are likely. Naturals are possible. So snow, but this is our slab right here. Um, it's probably only about uh, 10, 12 inches right here. When we get closer to the ridge line, uh, these drifts of snow are closer to two, three feet deep. and um, we saw some naturals that are D2, which means they're uh, large enough to bury or injure you. So on the here's, our, here's our slab. All right, we just set up a quick propagation saw test. We have this obvious wind slab over faceted snow. So about, about 10 centimeters into the cut, uh, propagated to the end. 